Welcome back to No Apologies on Beck. I'm excited that uh, I have another guest. I will say I am pleased that I am going to be introducing to you tonight a fresh face, a fresh new face, and a candidate for the House seat in District 31. With me tonight, Dawson Holly. Thank you so much for coming on. Well, thanks, Lori. So, um, well, I guess. Would you like to fire away I questions? Would. I would like to fire some yeah. questions at you. I would. Go First ahead. of all, what can you tell me about District 31? Whereabouts is District 31 in the state? Okay, so District 31 is part of Morton, Grant, and Sioux County. So I would say most of it is where most of the voters are is Morton County. Mm -hmm. I would say that's where most of the population is. It's a big city. Mandan is. Sure, so. sure. So this is um, also, I looked on the map just because I was doing a little prep on you. Oh. Um, Mott, New mm -hmm. Leipzig, and Flasher, Selfridge, Solon, and Cannibal are also all part of this. You are correct, yes. So I want you to tell our audience a little bit about who you are, your background, where you come from. Right, so I'm Dawson Holly, like you said. So I am actually a fifth generation dairy farmer. So I born and raised on a dairy farm. So I'm a member of the North Dakota Young Republicans Association. I think they're association. And I'm also interning for Representative Kelly Armstrong right oh. now. So. so you have some political moxie there, a little bit of experience yeah, working with them. I am. So the issues on my campaign that I would like to address, so I'm a Christian, so I am pro-life for that. Uh, another issue, like I said, I'm a dairy farmer, so I am pro-agriculture too. And I am a pro-supporter of the North Dakota Milk Marketing Board mm -hmm. too. It's controversial, but however, but we need it to keep the milk prices equal throughout the state. And so that Why is that important, Dawson? Okay, so basically the North Dakota Milk Marketing Board is, is so that every insti public institution in North Dakota, it, whether it is a school or church from Mandan all the way to Medora, receives milk at grade A quality and at a fair price. Excellent. Excellent. Very yeah. good. So you've got you've got your issues and your beliefs going here. I actually have your flyer too that oh, was yeah? going to yeah because awesome. I have a friend who gave it to me and so I thought I would look at it a little bit. You say also protecting North Dakota families. What do you mean by that? Right. So I would say protecting North Dakota families from health care uh, mandates like COVID restrictions, like the mask mandate and um, vaccine mandates that I've seen coming up in the news, whether or not they should require so it or not. you're pro-freedom on that. Side. I am very pro-freedom. I feel like once the government starts infringing, infringing on that, we start losing what our founding fathers wanted, which was freedom. Excellent. Also on here, I see some tax reform too. Oh, yes. You're singing my song on that one. Yeah. So tax reform is, so with COVID, people have been suffering and they've been grinding pennies trying to get by so honestly we had a surplus last year for taxes for north dakota mm -hmm. so i want to get somehow i want to reform taxes so we can lower them a little bit to get north dakota citizens back on their feet so once they get back on their feet then we can adjust taxes but right now when north dakota citizens are not on their feet i feel like it is not the government's responsibility to take money from citizens that they don't even have. Got it. So. Sounds fiscally responsible to me. Yeah. So you also are coming into this race a little bit late. I am. So why don't you give me the skinny on why it is that you are, well, what it was that spurred you on at this moment to leap into the race after most of the stuff has kind of already happened. Okay, so we're going to time travel back to 2016. <laughs> <laughs> so my teacher at the time was like, you should really pay attention to the 2016 election with the president and the North Dakota delegates and whatnot. And I was like, okay, I'll pay attention. I really didn't know what politics was at the time mm -hmm. and paying attention to it ignited like a little flare. And after watching it, I just decided to do further research and talk with peers and stuff like that. And then it kind of escalated until last year where I actually attended North Dakota Boy State. Mm. And I participa participated in the process of what North Dakota government is on like the basic level. And the biggest takeaway I think from the North Dakota Boy State is you don't have to be an elderly person to serve in legislature. Legislature and the rule set 
is for all generations. And if you only have one generation in office and they're making all these rules, how are the other generations supposed to follow if they don't even have a say? Right. Good point. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing, what of uh, what generation are you then? What, are, I don't even know where they call them anymore after Gen Z. <laughs> I don't even know what we would call each other. Maybe the tech boomers. I right. don't know. Maybe, maybe so. Yeah. Maybe. I don't remember. So you just decided, okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm going to do this. I'm going to run. So are you? So are you a delegate to the convention, or are you a guest, or an alternate to the convention this weekend? So I actually missed the endorsement convention because I was planning whether or not to run and I was like oh shoot it was January 31st and I was thinking like February and I was like oh now I gotta get a petition together so I'm just a guest to the so, convention. So but you have gotten your petition all out there and yes. you've gotten your signatures? And I've gotten all the signatures I've gotten the approval for Secretary of State to be on the ballot for the Republican primaries. So you are in the primary in District 31 then? I and am. You're running against a, a number of opponents then? Just two um, Jim Schmidt and Karen Rohr in that uh, District 31. Yes. Interesting stuff. Yeah. So you you are going to bring a fresh perspective, I'm mm -hmm. guessing, to the House of Representatives. I am. Yes, I am. So I'm also going to bring a very conservative approach because I am, grew up on a farm, so I understand the farm work ethic. But I also can see the other side of the aisle, too, where I can put myself in other people's shoes and I can be like, okay, I understand where you're coming from. So let's find a common goal and let's build on that to make North Dakota a better place because that's what government is essentially, is working together as a team, not as two split separate parties. So do you have a day job? Um, <laughs> I would say sometimes. So uh, part time right now, I am working on the farm and trying to balance the campaign. Mm -hmm. And going to school? Yes, and going to school. Awesome, awesome. So you are going to bring a totally different perspective than some of the other older generations, I think, to the uh, House of Representatives. That I is, am. That is exciting. Well, this is a really, really nice document that you put together here. It is really good. Um, one of the other things that you have on here is protecting veterans affairs. And it mm -hmm. says at the very, I'm going to read the end. Oh, yeah. It says, I would be very honored to have your vote in the primaries on June 14th and November 8th to represent you all and our great district. And your name, Dawson Holly. Yes, ma'am. Spelled H-O-L-L-E. You will have to watch for him. Let's do the, the stuff here. There you, there's your <laughs> very fancy sign. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then you have a website on the bottom there that people can check out and learn more about you too, especially if you are in District 31, DawsonHolly.com.